Okay. So we've got which one? Scattercraft. And he's got ten snakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it shows the length and the weight of each of these snakes. An other snake of this type has seven weight seven hundred and forty. Use the scrap of the scrap off to estimate. Okay, so pretty standard uh, type thing to do. Uh, one thing that people often don't do is draw a line the best fit. So that's the very first thing we're going to do. We're going to draw a line the best fit. Try and make something like that, maybe. Roughly like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use that to, if it weighs 740, that's going to be exactly in between here and three, 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 five. So there, we're going to go across, bouncing in the graph, and then we're going to come straight down here, and then make that about length of 71. What's really important is that the first thing we do is draw a line of best fit. Whenever you're asked to estimate, then don't just try and guess where the point will be. You just draw line of best fit and then bounce off the line. So then we were able to cross and then we move down and we said we reckon it will be approximately 75 centimetres. Okay, uh, now it says Stephen Woods uh, estimated the Estimate the weight of an adult snake of length 110. So length 110 is here. He says we'll draw a nice fit, best fit and read off the weight at 110. So read off the weight at 110 centimetres. Well, the problem with that is, is our, the last bit of data we have is around here. And 110, if the line of best fit, if the line of best fit carried on, it would go up here. And it'd be, well, it's not. It's not recommended, it's not good practice to kind of make a, a, an estimate of data which is outside the data which you've got because you don't know that this line's going to carry on. You're only allowed to draw line of best fit from the data you've got. So you can see this area down here, there's no data, and this area up here, there's no data. So, what's wrong with this method? He will be making. Estimate which is out of the data range. This is called ex extrapolation. So he's extrapolating, and it's not a good idea to do that. He should only make predictions from about 60 to about 100 or anything in between, not up here on the graph or up here. 